Welcome to Excel Basics video number 16. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, here we're on the Charts 1 sheet tab, and we're going to talk about charts. Now, in 2003 and 2007, how you make charts is dramatically different. The same in both is you have to highlight the data. And I highlighted that little blank space, the labels here, and our sales channels here. We have uh, some boomerangs, kites, and toys that we're selling, and we have various sales channels, in-store, website, mail order. Now I'm going to highlight this. 2003, you got to click on the chart wizard uh, button on the toolbar, and there's one, two, three, four steps. Here in 2007, we have to go to the insert and go to the charts group and sure enough there's a bunch of groups. I'm going to click the column and then select this first one. 2003 you just click on the the column and then click um, the OK button. I'm going to, uh, this is pretty squished here. I have to make it a little bit smaller. What happens is it's this darn ribbon that gets in the way. I'm going to make that go away with control F1. Now, uh, this is a column chart, and it's good at, at uh, comparing the difference. We can see our categories in store, website, mail order, and over here is a legend. Now, there, if we click on the chart, there are, there's a new set of ribbons, chart tools. I can click on design. Um, uh, there's some quick styles here if you want to apply any of those. There's quick layout that kind of gives you a, uh, a little picture of what it might do. Um, let's do this one right here. It looks like it has a label here uh, and here. No, but that won't work because it doesn't have a legend. We need that legend. So what about this one? It has a little label, label, uh, a chart title, and a, a legend there. Let's go ahead and click on that one. So uh, here we're going to click on this label here, and this is Summer Sales. Winsport Summer Sales. Now watch this. This is a great trick. Click right there and then hit the F2 key. Notice your cursor is flashing up here and then hit equals. And then you can click on A1. And notice it's not merged in center, so I'm allowed to do that if this is center across selection. And then hit enter. And sure enough, there it is. Um, let's click on our axis title and we don't have a word up here so we can just simply start typing as long as you click on it. Now in 2000 and then hit enter. In 2003 you actually in step 3 have to enter the chart title this and this. Now I'm going to click up here and uh, we don't really need a, a chart uh, label so you can hit the delete key. Now and that works fine right there. You can also do things like if you go up to the design you could uh, change the chart type. So we could come down here and change it to a bar. Sometimes a bar is better to emphasize the differences. I'm going to control Z. Another thing you can do in the uh, design we looked, oh you could switch the rows and column. This used to be in step two of uh, the chart wizard in 2003. So if I switch the rows and columns, then I have boomerangs down here and the sales channels there. I'm going to control Z. Uh, you can move the chart, uh, and that allows you to move it as a sheet. Let's go to layout, though. Look, here's how you can insert a chart title, an axis title, um, but also data labels. Sometimes they're important. You can actually put the numbers, and I'm going to come to data labels all the way down here, more data labels. And you can actually see how it, it, its value is right there, and then we see our values. Now, this is too small uh, for, uh, for the screen here, but that's pretty convenient. You could put the uh, name up there if you wanted, or even the series name. I'm going to uncheck those. Click close. Ooh, that's too crowded. Ooh, yuck. I'm going to control Z. Control Z, 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 Z. Wow, that was a lot of Zs. Uh, and then there's some formatting elements, which well, I'm not going to go through. Now, um, let's, I want to show you how to copy a chart. If you click on the outside and control C, you then can uh, click somewhere else like this and control V. Sometimes that's convenient because you want to then uh, change various aspects of this. Let's do something else. You can click on any one of the chart elements 
here. Let's click on the reds and then Control-1. That's the same keyboard shortcut we worked used in Excel to format cells. Well, it's the same with charts. All the chart elements, you can simply Control-1. I'm going to click Fill. I'm going to go to Solid. And then there's a different color. I'm going to select maybe this red right here. Click Close. Also, you might want to change the uh, number format. Control-1. And I'm going to go to uh, Number. And I'm going to reduce the decimals to 0. And then click o Close down at the bottom. So that's a little bit of uh, formatting. Let's go to our next chart, too. And let's see how to do a pie chart. Pie chart is a chart you use when you're comparing the parts to the whole. Here's part 1, part 2, part 3, and there's the whole. Now I want to highlight the labels here, and we'll use our control trick to then, I'm holding control, and then I click and drag. That way I can highlight things that are not next to each other, non-contiguous. Then I go up to Insert, Charts, and then a pie chart. One thing you want to avoid is anytime you start using three-dimensional pie charts, it distorts the uh, percentages or proportions of the pie. So don't forget that. You can uh, people using it to trick you, or you using it to trick. No, you would never do that. So I'm going to click the uh, just the plain old uh, flat one, and then I'm going to go up to uh, layout, data labels, more data labels. And I'm going to select, uh, let's see, the category name. Uh, that will be fine. Then we could get rid of the uh, legend there. You could also click percentages and then click close. So, oh, very convenient. Then you could click that and hit delete. So that's a, a basic pie chart. You could actually pull these out. Um, any of the elements, again, can be uh, selected and then uh, Control-1 would format it, so you could actually format this. I'm going to close this, so you can do that. But if you s click on it a second time, you can actually format individual uh, pieces. So I'm going to click and drag on the edge, click and drag on the edge, click and drag on the edge. You can also do that for pies. Right now, the whole pie is selected, but if I click a second time, then I could Control-1 and change the color on that fill, say, solid, and then some blue some purple. All right, let's go over to charts three. We'll look at a XY scatter diagram. Here are some numbers, final scores and hours spent studying. So there's probably some relationship, right? The more hours you study, the higher your score. Look at these people, 25 hours in a week study. Well, they got 110 on the file, 24, 40. Who are these people working, f studying 40 hours for one class? Oh, I guess some of us do do that. But here you go. We highlight, including the labels at the top. And in, you want your x values uh, to the left, your y values to the right. Then we could do an xy scatter diagram and see a picture if there's a relationship between our studying and final score. I'm going to go up to Insert, Charts, oh, xy, xy. And I'm going to select this one right here. Oh, look like it looks like there's a direct relationship, right? As x, our hours studying increases, our score increases. Direct because increase, increase. If you had a chart and you had a uh, number of police hired um, and crimes, right? You might see a line like that. Now I'm going to click on this and hit delete. And now um, I'm going to click somewhere on these data points and. Actually, before we do that, with the XY scatter diagram, you've got to have the, the label. So let's go up to uh, Layout. Again, this would be in step uh, 3 of 2003. I'm going to click Data Labels. I'm sorry. Axis, uh, and I'm going to select Vertical. And this one is hour spent. So I'm going to hit my F2 key and then equal. See, it's, it's flashing up there, and then equals. There's my, oops. There's my Y right there, final score, and then I hit Enter. That's pretty cool. And then let's go and get another under Layout, Access, but we'll get Horizontal. Now I'm going to do my same trick, F2, and then Equals. Notice it has an equal there, and then I'll click on my X, Hour Studying. One final trick for this, you can um, highlight the data points and right click and there should be add trend line for an XY scatter diagram. This is much different than earlier versions of this dialog box, but right clicking add trend line is the same. Linear, you have to display equation and R squared. 
Uh, this is actually on the second tab. There's two two parts to the 2003 version. But there it is. I click uh, close down here. And sure enough, now I have a line that estimates. All right, uh, we'll see you next Excel Basics. And as always, if you want to uh, go to the YouTube channel, you can scroll down on the left, and there's a link that will lead you to the files for this uh, basic video series, the book that you can download, or even all the other workbooks uh, for the videos at Excel is fun. And there's the direct link there.